Hi, I'm James. I'm a documentary filmmaker from Florida, and this is a film I made a couple months ago called Have You Seen the Rat Man? It's about a seemingly insignificant prank on a college campus that spiraled way out of control and turned into a massive local phenomenon. So far, I've taken it to a film festival and received some incredible audience feedback, so I'm really excited to share it here on YouTube. And I hope you have as much fun watching it as I did making it, so please enjoy Have You Seen the Rat Man? Yeah, I don't know if I, I shouldn't say the word meme, should I? I had a few friends from high school who went to the University of Central Florida. I was attending another college in Florida and um, I was taking a documentary filmmaking class. For the end of the class, I had to make a documentary. But one of the options the teacher told us was we could we could make a mockumentary. Me and my friends one night were hanging out in the Arby's parking lot and my one athletic friend was climbing a tree and uh, I started saying like, oh, you're like a rat. So then the idea started forming in my head like, oh, you could be, you should be a superhero, like a rat man, you know, you climb up you climb everywhere and you wear like a rat costume and you fight crime. And then it hit me, I can make a mockumentary about a fake superhero called the Rat Man. And you can be the Rat Man, I told him. That's when it was born. That's when the idea was born in the Arby's parking lot. came up with like a, a rat man costume that he would wear. Then I, uh, I started a YouTube channel called Have You Seen the Rat Man? What, what set a stage and what really set everything off was the, the video of the bike thief. Basically, I just uploaded all those cell phone videos of the rat man to the channel. And that was it for a while. Like, zero views. Just a dormant channel of all these videos of rat man sightings. And I made up these posters that said, have you seen the rat man? And so me and my friends put those posters up around campus and the next day the rat man started blowing up. About the rat man. Yes, I've heard about him. I've heard uh, he makes sure people get home safe from the library. That's the urban legend about him. Where it actually started, it started on, I think it was the UCF uh, Reddit forum. Yep, the Twitter posts, the Reddits, the videos, I've seen it all. It's 
stops robberies and stuff like that and hands out water so people are hydrated. Wait, he's been giving people Fiji waters? You know, if anyone who has Fiji water, that's a, that's a good rat to have. Rat friend. One of the more strange things that happened with all the Ratman hype was uh, some people posted a, a snap on Snapchat on the UCF Snapchat story. It looked like they had someone like captive with a bag on their head or something. And they said in the text, bring us the rat man or this man gets it. Uh, but then a few hours later, there was an even creepier Reddit post where someone had printed out that snap and they had <laughs> slices of cheese, like craft singles on the printed out image they had these coordinates written on the slice of cheese. And the coordinates actually led to the middle of the woods, kind of off to the side of campus. Uh, we decided not to go check it out that night because that's a little, it's a little too scary. <laughs> so I don't know. I don't know if there are people out there waiting for the rat man. Um, we'll never know. That week on Reddit, a bunch of people posted and they created a uh, group chat online that was dedicated to kind of hunting down the rat man. In the group chat, it was maybe 100, 150 people. You know, I saw and I was part of a lot of groups that met up to go on those quote unquote rat hunts. I guess I didn't think the Ratman would blow up as big as he did, but we all hoped that he would blow up as big as he did. You will pay dearly. Ratman will stop you. Ratman will not come for you. Ratman, help! Ratman! Rat 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 it, it really turned from something that was just two or three YouTube videos into the entire phenomenon. As the Ratman hype kind of reached its peak, there's a number of imposters, like people pretending to be the Ratman online. There was one or two people in the group chat. They said they were the Ratman, even though they had no evidence, people questioned them on it. And, uh, you know, it didn't hold up. They were saying like, oh, I think my roommate is the Ratman. Yeah, there's even imposters on Reddit claiming to be the Ratman today. We met, we started talking, we sat together in the class, and we just kind of became friends over time. The Ratman definitely made his own costume, yes. I'm on a new phone gotcha. with new stuff, so I don't yeah. have any screenshots or any pictures from that time. You know, we planned the videos as a way to provide something going on in the background for those who knew how to look for it, for those who knew how to find it. Definitely, definitely during it, he was overwhelmed. He was not at all what he had set out to do was make a superhero. It was, it was a lot more than he bargained for. <laughs> what is he talking about? And for a while, anyone that interacted with a Ratman account after that meetup uh, would have been interacting with me. I was kind of taking over that Hold social up. media aspect 
When you okay. Oh so, no. This guy was an imposter back then? Wow. <laughs> wow. There was a person on Reddit who claimed they were the rat man, but they went as far to say that they were gonna show up on campus that night at like nine o'clock and meet with fans. Or not necessarily other people on Reddit, but the person who was rat man in Reddit was pretty much like, yo, I'm gonna go reveal myself, like student union, 9 p.m. Somebody made that first post about rat man potentially revealing his true identity in front of the student union. A whole crowd of people showed up that night to see the rat man. This is ridiculous. I don't think he's gonna show up. You, you, you felt the rat sense tingling. Yeah. And not only a crowd of people, the UCF police department showed up with multiple squad cars. The cop showed up. So the police were standing there and they had this certificate that they had made up. It was like a generic certificate they printed out and they had written on it like two rat men from the police. And they were gonna award him with this. They were waiting on him and taking pictures with students showing off the award. Uh, but anyway, that was a big event. Rat man didn't show up. We don't know. We don't know who was behind the student union meetup. Uh, like I said, we didn't post about it. Um, it was never Ratman's intention to reveal his identity. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of weird. It's kind of kind of eerie how like accurate he is. Yeah, kind of sounds like out and about like that. One of the people I interviewed. And so it was, it was just fun to in the field. Hang I'm gonna show you this. Uh, the other clip of the, some guy I interviewed on a lawn. It sounds kind of like him. Uh, vigilante justice is his style. A uh, superhero, he is not, but good for us, he is. But when we can all laugh about some dude in a rat costume. He's, uh, he's given a big group of us something to laugh about. Who is the rat man? Who is the rat man? He said he interviewed me on Okay, he didn't interview... Nobody's interviewed me for this before now. No, that's not me. No. No, that wasn't me. No, I mean, I told you the truth to my be the best of my ability. But... Hmm. I think it's really up to you what you think will be better for your documentary. I didn't expect, yeah, I didn't expect a community aspect, like people to actually meet in real life and uh, hang out in real life and hunt down the rat man at night or whatever they did, but I don't know, they were just hanging out. Yeah, I did not see that coming. We've all had stuff taken from us, stolen, and so just that we could see potentially and believe for even a moment that there was someone out there on our campus preventing that you know i think that grabbed attention it was something that only a select group of people would understand it was only something that ucf students really had exposure to yeah that is why that guy still talking about the rat man today i mean yeah it was a fun time to the imposters i don't have much to say i mean it's all in good fun um, so to, to anybody pretending to be Ratman, more power to you. The funny thing is, you know, the, the mockumentary, it was just dwarfed by the actual sensation of the real events. You know, real life is stranger than fiction. If he's not the hero that we want, at least he's given a couple of us something to believe in.